name is Jill's Juliet. Welcome back to my channel. So today I didn't take off my lashes because um I don't know, I kinda just didn't want to wear them. <laughs> but um I did my hair in blue dye, which I already did this side, but I need to re go ahead and retouch it because I didn't do my roots and whatever. But I'm here to film a video. I kinda like blanked out a lot on what I wanted to film. I'm, I ended up filming a few videos, but honestly, like, I don't know. I I love makeup. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I am very, very passionate with when it comes to makeup. Like, makeup is my obsession. Makeup is my need. Makeup is my life. And I want to buy so much stuff. And I want to have so much things. But, you know, unfortunately, makeup is expensive. Skincare is fucking expensive. But I'm here to just show you guys what palettes I currently have. And, you know, let's just go down the lane and show you guys. Because, honestly... I'm not the best at tutorials. I honestly tried and I don't know. I feel like I get nervous because I, I don't know. I guess I just, woo, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very nervous when it comes to doing makeup tutorials because I'm not sure. I know that I'm not the best out of them and maybe that's why I'm like, you know, like that. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys a few palettes that I currently have. And we're going to go through my makeup collection. That's 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 what I ended up deciding to do today. So let's get started. I'm in like on a weird like squatting position because um, I thought this angle would be like the best angle to film. And I noticed that you can see my door and like the bottom of my floor and like this side. And it'll look cute. So um, that's where we're at. I need to find a new angle for the film because I kind of don't want that as my background. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and start filming what we have. Let's go ahead and start off with this baby right over here. Honestly, I love Jeffree Star. I love his makeup. They're expensive. I love most of the quality of his makeup that has came out with. But I haven't been purchasing at all any of his one because I want to stop spending money. And I want to start saving money because I want to travel, you know. I want to get out of here and go to Washington, D.C., go to Hawaii, Bretman Rock, like, one day, hopefully, fingers crossed. But, um, yes. Uh... Let's go ahead and start talking with this one. Now look, this is beautiful for people who are light skin, that are pale, you know, this is beautiful for them. Now, the reason why I say it is because these three shades don't look cute on me. These shades kind of don't even go anywhere. Um, that's the reason. And then this, these two shades right here aren't the best for my complexion. But I do definitely love like this one, this one, this one. The greens are amazing. Um, definitely, I haven't played with this one, nor the silver one. There's like a few shades I haven't actually played with yet fully, which would be Roll With It, Glam Rapids, Wake and Bake. Um, I haven't played with Drive Through. I haven't played with Fast Lanes, Custom Rings, Vroom Vroom. I uh, haven't played with those, but it looks like I've played with the rest of them. My favorite color is Boss Angel. I love a lot of warm tone colors. I used to love wearing bold and bright colors, but now like the only thing I wear that's bright is my hair. I love my hair being bright. But yes, definitely this Millions. It's like, it's, I have it on my lid. You can't really tell the glitter as much, which is like kind of weird. What, what I do like about this palette is a big ass mirror that it has. It's like, ah! You know, but definitely this pink is beautiful. You know, I, I have pros and cons with this one because I could do so little with this because I kind of like I'm more of a warm neutral girl. But here and there, if my hair is like very pastel-y, then I, I guess I'll go with bright colors. But other than that, I really won't. Um, I actually don't really reach for this palette anymore. Moving on to the other Morphe one. I have this one which is called Natural Glow. Now this is what I'm wearing today. I'm not a huge fan of this one at all. I don't feel like the pigmentation is off on a lot of these eyeshadows. What happens is that they look very pigmented but when you're blending out they either become muddy or the, they just disappear within the color payoff. So some of these are hits and some of these are miss. Um, I messed around with already these three. I haven't touched these two. I messed around with this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I've done this whole squad area. I've actually done, except these three right over here. I haven't touched those. Um, I haven't touched this one yet. I've touched these two today. 
touch this one, touch this one, touch that one, touch this. This is like my favorite section right over here and down here because again, I'm a warm tone person. I love warm tone colors. I have tried this one and this is actually one of my favorite ones out of this whole palette. It's this baby right over here. It's like you can't go wrong with this copper. It's like so flippin' beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I haven't messed around with these three colors right over here because they're kind of like weird looking so I haven't messed around with it. Some of these mattes are a hit and some of these mattes are a miss. So if you're going to grab it, just keep in mind pigmentation sometimes isn't, sometimes isn't there. Next we have this baby right over here. This one is the Stunning Vibes. Now look, I love this palette a lot. This is actually one of my favorite palettes out of the Morphe collections that I have. I've touched actually the majority of them. I think there's only a few that were missed, which was like this purple one. I noticed that the majority of the purple ones are always missed for me. Um, I'll show you why. Okay, right? But it's like, I don't know. Like, it's, I would expect it to be more pigmented and it's not really that pigmented. I mean, it's still a beautiful color because you're able to just to like pack it on and like you'll get that pigmentation after a few swatches in there, you know? Like, but I mean, it's not the best, you know? Then moving on, I think the only one I haven't played with would be this blue. This blue looks very intimidating. Um, oh, and this blue, actually. Blue, I'm, I'm really scared of use blue. I actually love this green a lot. This green is, like, beautiful. Again, it's cute. But definitely my favorite one are the reds. I messed with all of these already. These are cute, too. But again... You have a lot of hit and miss when it comes to payoff on most of these. It's always going to be like two to three that are missed on the payoff, which is like not bad. It's like 93% of the palette is good and those 7% isn't. Then we're going to have this one. This is actually one of my favorite colors of it all. I love this one. This one's called the Boss Mood. And honestly speaking, I believe I've only not touched... The blacks because I don't really want to mess with the black colors. I, I'm I kind of want to like stay away from them in general, but they're like beautiful. Like I mean, don't get me wrong, I love wearing black lipstick, but I'm always scared to play with these two. And then I haven't touched these two, but other than that, I've messed around with the whole palette already. Um. Oh wait, I haven't touched this one. What? <gasps> okay, I gotta touch you today. But definitely look at these purples. Just, 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 you see these? Okay, now wait. I feel like purples are hard to get because, let me see if you guys can see, they're very faded, like, like they're not as pigmented as I would expect them to be at all. They're very light. So again, with these, you are going to have to like layer them and layer them and layer them and layer it to get like a nice payoff. But this green is beautiful. This one is beautiful. This orange one, it's beautiful. This is actually one of my favorite palettes. I, again, doesn't touch the black, but, you know, we're going there. And the last but not least for the day, for today, because we're going to do a part two of this. The last but not least is this one right over here. Now, look, I've supported her and I've liked her for a while, but, you know, I'm no longer a fan and there's just a lot of miss and hits because of it. Um, that's all I have to say. I've used this palette a lot. I've gone through it. Yes, I have not hit pan, but I've gone through it a lot. I wanted. I I love this palette to a certain extent. Now you can see they have a like, dents going on here and there. I use the majority. I've used all of them except. Nope. I use all of them. I've gone through this palette a lot, and I love this palette. The only thing I don't love about this palette is these two colors. Now, the payoff on these two colors suck. Do you see these? Right? They look really pigmented. But wait. Just wait. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on this side. This was a purple. And this was a blue. Now, yes, the purple is more pigmented. It's not as pigmented as when they first came out and they claimed that they were really pigmented and whatever. It's definitely better than the blue. I'm not going to lie. This blue blue for some reason it looks really beautiful when you swatch it but it looks really horrible when you apply it like look like 
you're supposed to have like a beautiful payoff on this blue and it is not given to you unless you like layered it again see but even then it's like ugh, i'm actually like pressing like really freaking hard my finger looks beautiful don't get me wrong but the payoff oh that looks better see the payoff on this blue really sucked and i wasn't a fan of it then we have this green which is i mean it's actually really beautiful on your finger look at this green it's it's like i this is like probably the most beautiful green i've ever seen and i have a few greens to begin with and then we have this one right over here which i'm rubbing pretty hard okay don't don't come at me saying that i'm not giving it a shot look at that payoff these two to me were like the biggest miss but these two were like the biggest hits to me like i absolutely love this combination I have, this was always like my go-to quad going around. Like you have your transition, you have your color, you have your um, outer color, and then you just pop one of these in color day. Honestly, that, that has been my makeup the whole time. Um, this black was okay. I'm not going to say that it wasn't like, it was, it's all right. Like, you know, it's not like noir noir, but it's like an okay noir. Let me go ahead and show. Um, you see like, it's, it's black right it's black i mean you could just go ahead and intensify it even more every time you go through it but at first it is not black at all now this one this black actually blends out um very ashy to me i didn't really like it but again some palettes are hits and some palettes are missed honestly all the palettes that i've have so far they're actually all a hit i do believe the one that can be a huge miss and just not even purchase it is this one right over here it's the natural glow i honestly i don't really see i don't really see the need of buying this one it's 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 probably one of the biggest mists out of all the ones that i currently have i mean don't get me wrong this orange is beautiful and this one's beautiful but i mean that's pretty much it so this is actually one of the mists that i'm gonna say and all the rest are hits but let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite palette out of all of them. Or what Morphe's palettes do you guys have? Hope you guys enjoyed this weird video and um, I'll see you guys in part two. Let me go wash my hands.